Welcome to Tesla Car World. In today's episode, we'll provide a realistic look at the $25,000 Tesla Model 2, set to be launched in the first quarter of next year, according to the latest info from Elon. We'll cover the battery performance, design, and how minimalistic it's going to be. So, is this new EV going to be worth the wait? Find out now. Tesla Model 2 Battery and Range we want to start with the Model 2's performance because it's the most accurate information we've received so far about this affordable car. With a car that's stripped down both on the exterior and interior, performance is even more important, right? So far, Model 2's Redwood battery has been confirmed by multiple sources to be around 53 kWh, which was also written into Tesla's Master Plan 3 last year. We can be pretty sure Model 2's battery pack will be about 53 kWh. With this relatively small battery pack combined with a smaller size compared to Model 3, the overall weight of this affordable car is going to be 30% lighter than Model 3. However, we disagree with some opinions that suggest these two factors will push Model 2's range close to 300 miles on a full charge. That doesn't seem likely. For an EV to achieve over 300 miles, it clearly needs either expensive battery technology or a battery pack over 70 kWh. For example, Model 3 with a 57.12 kWh LFP battery pack has a range of 272 miles and is priced just under $39,000, significantly higher than the $25,000 Model 2. Therefore, a 300-mile range for this affordable car does not seem feasible. We once thought that by the time the Tesla Model 2 launches, the manufacturer would have enough 4,680 batteries for it. However, that's not the case. Model 2 will not use 4,680. Instead, it's going to use the LFP 2.0 Shenxing batteries from KTL, confirmed by the supplier. Tesla doesn't want to import these batteries from China because they would disqualify the affordable car from getting the $7,500 tax credit. Therefore, after getting machinery and equipment from KTL earlier this year, Tesla is now making these batteries directly at Giga Texas. The two most likely candidates for these batteries are the RoboTaxi and Model 2. So, is this type of battery good enough for the Model 2? For those unfamiliar with this battery, these batteries use fast-charging LFP cells. They can charge at 4C, meaning they can go from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes, or a full charge from empty in only 15 minutes. As a new generation LFP cell, the Shenxing also has a longer lifespan of over 1,000 charge cycles, meaning they could be good for at least 200,000 miles. That's especially important for affordable EVs as the fear of replacing a battery can be a deterrent when the cost of replacing a battery is so astronomical. A 53 kWh battery costs just $5,300, or half the price of the battery in the Model Y. Considering this price and what little performance info we know about the Shenxing LFP, we can roughly estimate that Model 2 will have an estimated range of about 250 miles. Don't be surprised if the range is lower, as the fast charging time will compensate for a shorter range. For instance, other EVs typically take at least 30 minutes to charge, while Model 2 only takes 10 to 15 minutes. So, if you need to make a journey of around 280 miles, Model 2 will at least arrive 20 minutes earlier than other competitors in its price range. Tesla Model 2 hatch exterior. When discussing a vehicle that hasn't officially launched yet, we can't be certain that everything we say is accurate. However, based on the information Elon has shared about the Model 2 EV, we believe Tesla has leaked quite a bit of info about this new affordable car, including details on the platform, as well as the interior and exterior design. Initially, it was misunderstood as a pedal-free robo-taxi with full self-driving capabilities allowing customers to ride in a vehicle without a driver. However, it's clear Model 2 and the RoboTaxi are two different vehicles. Elon had previously dismissed the idea of launching the affordable car, believing it wouldn't create the same buzz as the RoboTaxi. However, the RoboTaxi is much less appealing compared to Model 2. In less than two months, on October 10th, 
Tesla launched the RoboTaxi after a late release because Elon forced the Tesla team to make some design details to make it more aerodynamic and different from Model 2. Initially, Tesla Model 2 and RoboTaxi were two cars that were 90% similar. To convince Musk, the chief of design, Franz von Holzhausen, proposed a solution to produce both the Model 2 and RoboTaxi on the same production line, called the Unbox process, so that no car would be cancelled. However, the Tesla team was stuck with this revolutionary production line, so they were forced to separate the Model 2 and RoboTaxi into two different lines. RoboTaxi gets the Unbox process, and Model 2 gets put on the current Model Y and Model 3 production lines. To put it simply, the Tesla Next Gen EV comes in two versions. One will be a fully featured conventional vehicle with all the necessary components and functions, and this version will not be the RoboTaxi. The other version is going to be a driverless vehicle without a steering wheel or pedals, which you'll control mostly through a smartphone, and that will be the RoboTaxi. In Tesla's recent shareholder meeting, the new lineup included three covered models, and we also believe Tesla is working on a van, but that's a story for another time. So what should we look forward to, and what should we not expect from the design of the Model 2 affordable car? First of all, if you're expecting a unique, never-before-seen design that's unlike any car out there, or rather a completely new design for Model 2, then you're probably going to be disappointed. What do you think about a hatchback that looks like a Model 3? As Tesla's second quarter 2024 update letter wrote, plans for new vehicles, including more affordable models, remain on track for the start of production in the first half of next year. These vehicles will utilize aspects of the next generation platform, as well as aspects from our current platforms, and will be able to be put on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. As a best guess for Tesla's upcoming models, we'll have a product launch order like this. This year we'll see two things coming out, one's RoboTaxi, and then soon after, Model Y Refresh, or known as the Model Y Juniper. In 2025, we're going to see the introduction of the Cybertruck rear-wheel drive, which will be the most affordable variant available. And then after that, Model 2, a smaller and lighter hatchback, compared to Model 3, will be made on the same assembly line. So, Model 2 will essentially be a more affordable vehicle, with a much more minimalist exterior design, making it akin to a hatchback version of Model 3. While Tesla already has an SUV, a sedan, a pickup, and a heavy truck, a hatchback is still the missing piece in their lineup. Elon's confirmation that Model 2 will be made on the existing assembly line subtly suggests that we shouldn't expect anything extraordinary from this vehicle. The most notable example of this is Model Y and Model 3, which are sedan and SUV made on the same line. It's often difficult to distinguish between them at first glance, and even upon closer observation, the similarities are still uncanny. Model 2 will be no exception. It'll be about 80% similar to Model Y and Model 3. The remaining 20% will depend on how Tesla chooses to simplify it. If our hypothesis is correct, the Tesla Model 2 will likely feature smaller headlights, no fog lights, a relatively small or non-existent front and rear trunk, and may lack cameras and self-parking technology. In some recent leaked images of the new Model Y Juniper, a light bar similar to Cybertruck was spotted at the rear, leading many to believe that it could also appear on the upcoming Model 2. We won't dismiss the possibility, as Elon mentioned earlier that the affordable car is still going to incorporate some aspects of the next-gen platform. If Model 2 ends up featuring a light bar from the pickup truck, it wouldn't be surprising. Transferring details from the latest vehicle to a new model can create a more cohesive and impactful design. The exterior of an affordable car is always less critical, because in today's competitive market, the key factor is how the Model 2 can be priced lower than its competitors. Simplification will definitely extend beyond the exterior. The interior will likely be even more streamlined than expected. Tesla Model 2 Interior Regarding the interior, you can expect the Model 2 to have enough space for five people, but it will be less comfortable due to its smaller size compared to the Model 3. 
Additionally, don't anticipate high-end features. Everything has to fit within the $25,000 price point. The interior materials, from the dashboard to the door handles, will likely be quite basic. If Tesla opts for a somewhat cheap-looking steering wheel, old-fashioned wood trim, non-ventilated seats, and a smaller 12-inch touchscreen compared to the 15.5-inch screen on the Model 3, don't criticize them too harshly. This is the most reasonable configuration the manufacturer can achieve within the budget constraints. No one wants their vehicle to be equipped with cheap elements that compromise the customer experience. But Model 2 represents a trade-off for Elon. Either the Model 2 will be a $25,000 EV with less impressive features, or it will be a model that will leave many things to be desired. When it comes to a cheap EV, Tesla's Master Plan 3 clearly states that the EV industry must do away with many luxurious features to make way for more affordable models. In short, the new Model 2, expected to arrive in 2025, will be more affordable than the Model 3, but may fall short in terms of appearance and luxury. You can envision a smaller hatchback that looks like the Model 3, and that's precisely what you'll get. The final design of this affordable car may still be up for debate, but the idea that the Model 2 is not designed to look cheap remains constant. Tesla's new affordable car is for the masses, and though it may look stripped down, it will still offer a high-quality build. The key takeaway here is that Tesla is dedicated to lowering prices and production costs by streamlining both the exterior and interior of the Model 2. As long as the Model 2 delivers on its promise of affordability and functionality, it should find success in the market despite any aesthetic compromises. That's it for this episode of Tesla Car World. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and see you next time.